money. Across the world, 100 billion banknotes are produced every year and spent many times over. The total value of notes in circulation is more than a trillion dollars. That's a thousand, thousand million dollars. But the trouble with all this money is, it doesn't last long. The life expectancy of a banknote is just over a year. And worse than that, many banknotes are still relatively easy to forge. So how do you create an almost indestructible banknote which is all but impossible to forge? How do they do it? Welcome to Melbourne, Australia, where dirty money is a thing of the past. Faced with the twin challenges of banknotes rapidly wearing out and increasingly sophisticated methods of forgery, the Reserve Bank of Australia decided on a radical break with tradition. In 1988, they started to experiment with a bold new kind of banknote, one that was virtually indestructible, a banknote which was made of plastic. And it's such a success, it's catching on all over the world, from New Zealand to Nepal. To make their plastic money, the Australians start with these small granules of polymer. The tiny beads are melted at the top of this huge metal tube. And what you can see here is the molten polymer cascading down. As the 250 degree liquid travels, it is cooled by small jets of water. Now it's ready for the next stage in the process. And if you've ever blown bubbles, prepare to be amazed. This is one of the biggest bubbles on Earth, five stories high. It's so big, in fact, it's impossible to see it all at once. This is just the top. As long as it's maintained at the correct pressure, the walls of the bubble are always the same thickness. But it needs constant monitoring. In total, this huge bubble will be stretched 20 meters. Towards the bottom of the bubble, the polymer is gathered up in rolls and it starts to resemble cling film. An infrared gauge checks that the film has the correct thickness. The polymer sheets are wrapped into rolls. Each roll contains over eight kilometers of film and weighs a ton and a half. Now they've created the polymer film, there's another problem. How do you print onto clear plastic so the ink doesn't rub off? The solution requires a massive press and some seriously gloopy paint. The film is painted white up to five times on each side, creating an opaque adhesive surface that's ready to receive the banknote design. It may look like they've missed a bit, but in fact, every note will have a small transparent window. A strobe light is used to check that the windows are all there. This is one of the most important characteristics of the plastic banknote, because this is where one of the key security features will go. The rolls of notes are sent up one level, and it's here that a counterfeit-proof image is burned into the window. A technician carefully monitors the process as a laser etches five tiny images into each window in 20 billionths of a second. This pattern is a diffractive optic which is very similar to a hologram, uh, except then that you can project this with the, uh, a laser pointer or you can uh, look through it at a uh, point source light. They're very sort of high-tech security features. It's very, very difficult to uh, counterfeit. Uh, in fact, we're not aware of anybody having uh, done it as yet. Now the polymer can be cut into sheets. They're almost ready for the next stage, the printing of the banknote design. First, the background colors are added by this special machine, which prints on both sides of the note simultaneously. Then the notes need to be transferred to a second machine for their next layer of ink. The worker fans out the sheets to ensure they don't stick together. In his hands, he's holding what will become almost three quarters of a million dollars. 
The next printing press adds another layer of ink, the bolder colours and fine details. By varying the thickness of the ink, it gives the surface of the note a ridged texture that should make it easy to distinguish the real thing from a forgery. The notes are almost finished, but they still lack one key security feature, their unique serial numbers. The counter is set by hand to the first number of the next sequence, and the machine is ready to start numbering the notes. It can number two and a half million notes in one eight-hour shift. A few kilometers away on the local beach, there's bound to be one absent-minded swimmer who's left his money in his pocket. But in Australia, it doesn't matter. For this beach bum, his dripping loot will be just as acceptable to the local bartender as before he went into the water.